Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to install and set up Python as well as Visual Studio Code with some basic extensions and the background is quite shitty. I don't really have a place to record and I'm still figuring out how I'm going to make my videos. So sorry about that. Anyways, let's get started. This is going to be a short and quick video. So in order to download Python, the only thing that you need to do is search Python in Google and go to the first website under which you can go to downloads, all releases and it will usually show you the latest version but if you're looking for something that's a bit old you can always find it here it's usually suggested to download the latest version as it has the all support for all the current modules after that all you need to do is double click the extra the exe now i have already python installed that's why it is saying modify setup but if you don't have it installed it will basically show you a similar window to this after which go to the features, hit yes to documentation, pip, do not forget to have a tick to the pip which can cause you a huge issue if you don't install it by default. After which hit next. After which it will ask you to add python to environment variables. Please do not forget to tick this and make sure that this is ticked because it could cause some problem and your laptop not even recognizing that python exists if this is not ticked. After which you can just hit install. Right now I'm not going to hit install because Python is already installed in my laptop. Now to check that if you have Python, you can open your command line and in the command line you can write Python. Now if you see something similar to this, then voila, you don't have anything to worry about. Your Python is installed and it's all good. Otherwise, you might need to go through some troubleshooting steps, which can easily be found on Google. The second thing we'll be installing is Visual Studio Code. To do that, all you need to do is go to code.visualstudio.com, hit download for Windows, and it has the same procedure as before. You just need to... Now, as soon as the installation is complete, all you need to do is run the exe and then go through the entire steps. And it is always recommended to add to path key make sure that it is ticked otherwise you might face some issues just go through the entire thing and just hit install and your visual studio code will be installed now i already have visual studio code installed so this is what you will see when you open visual studio code your visual studio code will look something like this and i'll just give you a simple walkthrough of it so in the left you might not see all this option you might just see explorer search and run debug and extensions the rest of the things are the extra extensions that i have added which i will let you know in a short time now when you open visual studio code usually the first thing that you, you do is you go to the explorer and open any folder that you want to be working with but before we do that we are going to get you installed with two important extensions that are used the first extension that you use is Python. This is the official extension by Microsoft, which is used for Python. It's already installed, but this is what will happen. So basically you need to hit install and after which it will install it. And if it shows the option to enable, just hit enable. Otherwise it will be enabled automatically. Another is the code runner. Code runner is basically a small extension that helps you to run code very simply. So that's it. That's how you install Visual Studio Code and Python in five minutes. I'll see you in the next one. 